This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Canada. Welcome, 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 Sister Victoria. How are you? Yes, <laughs> welcome, welcome, and the, the rest of you. Uh, uh, doing, 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 are you on the line? You, are you on, on, on step this morning? Yes. Uh, thank you, thank you, P. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Doing, doing, are you there? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glorious God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Glorious God, I we worship you, God. We thank you. Yes. Uh, welcome to Overcomers Deliverance. Uh, welcome to Overcomers Training Deliverance School. Today, we have our students who, who, who first joined the school. And I'm going to welcome her to give a testimony and what she has been running since she joined the school. And you will be blessed. Welcome, Dr. Juma. God bless you, my daughter and my sister, my everything. Welcome. Amen. Thank you, Prophet. Praise the Lord, people of God. Praise the Lord, Amen. If to encourage someone that has not answered the call to join the School of Deliverance and Healing, I'm a new student, as Dr. Christina said, uh, in that ministry school. My name is Dr. Lindy Juma Maceda. I'm an educator, and I'm also an ordained minister of the gospel. I live in Tucson, Arizona, in the United States. And I'm here to give glory and honor to God, our Father. I met Prophet Dr. Christina Ziggy in October of 2015 by Internet search. I was doing a search for deliverance ministry, and God led me to overcome a deliverance and healing ministry. I have been hooked since then. You know the familiar scripture out of Second Chronicles 2020 that reads, Believe and trust in the Lord your God, and you will be established or secure. It also says, Believe and trust in his prophet, so shall you prosper. Like I said, I was hungry. I was looking for something. And I said, I am going to believe in this prophet of God, and I will see what God has for me, and if this is where I need to be, if this is the ministry I need to be associated with. I wanted and still want to prosper in every area of my life. So I held on to that scripture. Dr. Christine took me under her wing and has been ministering deliverance and healing to me and my family, my children, my extended family, all the way back to Africa, to South Africa, to Mozambique. Anyone that calls me, I say, let me call mother. God has blessed me as I sow seeds into Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Recently, I asked Dr. Christine if I should join the School of Deliverance because she thought I was ready. She said, you've been a minister for so many years. I started ministry school in 1997, just to give you an idea. <laughs> but she said, you've been a minister for so many years. You need to join the school. You need to get empowered. There are so many levels. So... Uh, because she said I was ready, I believed her, and I started. I'm on my second class, which ended yesterday. I must say, this has been a true blessing. I mean, uh, my blessings have increased exponentially, physically, spiritually, emotionally, even materially. You know, after 22 years as an educator, the local news, not just a few a few months ago, the local news featured me. After 22 years as an educator, it's just, just amazing, just amazing. But back to the school, the school of ministry. The first class was on on the rationale for the difference, and she broke it down with several supporting scriptures. The biggest revelation for me was this strong statement. If you reject knowledge, the Lord will reject you also. You know the familiar scripture in Hosea 4, 6, you know, my people perish for the lack of knowledge, uh, and we, we always 
stop there. You know, in, at least in the churches I've been to, my people parents for lack of knowledge, get out of knowledge, get understanding. But the second part to it is what she really broke down, and for me, it revealed some deep rooted issues that I needed to deal with. I needed to understand that you can never, ever have enough knowledge of God's Word so that you can be able to move on you know, on a daily basis and be able to minister to others for that matter. So, if the Lord says He will reject me for lack of knowledge, then I know that it's important for me to stay focused on the Word and to learn His Word and everything that has to do with it. That was an awesome, awesome revelation. And it goes on, you know, to say that I will see uh, I will forget your children, seeing that you have forgotten the law of God. You know, uh, powerful, powerful scripture. Yesterday's lesson was on altar. So that was just the introduction on altar. And she said we'll have two or three more of those. The biggest revelation on that one was that I really do need to set aside a place just for me and the Lord right here where I live. No TV, no radio, not that I'm a TV buff, I really don't care much about it, but just a place where just me and the Lord, you know, what, what people usually call your prayer closet, that it just has to be that place. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. I know the enemy is trying to cut her. The enemy has cut her, but she will continue. Uh, I know the enemy is a liar and a liar and a liar, but glory be the name of Jesus. Uh, this is the jealousy. Uh, Dr. Hallelujah. Dr. Dr. Chuma. Yes. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The, the enemy is a, a liar. I'm telling you, the enemy is a liar. He's so jealous. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We, th we thank you, Jesus. Okay. You have to go. You have to go. Anyway, the, the, the devil is a liar and he's a liar. You see, Hallelujah. Now the phone is, is freezing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name, God. We give you the glory, God. We give honor. We give thanks, God. We give thanks, God. We give glory. We give glory. We give glory. We give glory, God. We give glory, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We you are wonderful. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we honor you. You are a wonder of God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Whether the devil like it or not, still life will continue. The devil like it or not, still life will continue. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whether the devil you like it or not, the life will continue. Dwin, are you on the line? Yes, doctor. My, my daughter continue. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the devil is a liar. <laughs> continue, my sister. The devil is a liar. I'm telling you, whether the devil like it or not, life will continue. <laughs> Share about the share about the altar. Share about the altar of yesterday. What the, you learn about the altar yesterday? So yesterday's yesterday's lesson was on altar. So it was the beginning of the the, the, the first course, uh, the the first session on altar. Um, and Dr. Christian said we'll have two or three more of these. The revelation for me was that I really do need to set aside a place just for me and the Lord here, where I live, a sacred place, and I know we, you know, we, have, we call it our prayer closet, or we can call it whatever, but a place where there's no TV, 
TV, no radio, no noise, no no computers. Um, not that I, I'm a TV buff, I'm not, but you know, still just a quiet place where no one else can come in and interrupt that time with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, one yes. more thing. One more thing before before I go. By the end of this year, we are going to establish with Mama Christian's commission overcome with deliverance and ministries wing in Tucson, Arizona. There will be a Tucson campus before the year is out. Amen? Amen. Amen. In the interest of time, um, I'm not going to share anymore, but there is so much you know, that the Lord has done for me, my children, my extended family, and, and we're just so thankful. I personally am very thankful uh, to God that he has connected me with Prophetess Christine um, as, as my mentor, my spiritual mother. And I want to encourage anyone that has been thinking about or anyone that believes that the school of deliverance is for them because they want to help others. I believe anyone that is a minister of the gospel should be able to have this knowledge so that God will not reject us because we're not seeking the knowledge of him in the fullness of it. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, sister. God bless you so Amen. much. What can you encourage people? What can you say about anybody who wants to join the school? Anyone that wants to join the school, get on the line. Get on the line, make that call, go on your computer, whatever you need to do, get in touch with Overcomers Deliverance and Healing and get signed on right away. There are payment plans. If you need a payment plan, if you can make a one-time a one-time payment, it is worth every single penny. It is worth your energy. It is worth your time. I, I look forward to Saturday morning uh, just sitting there for an hour and just soaking and soaking and soaking. And then I go home, you know, and sit down and read everything and then go, oh, okay, so these are the questions I need to ask. And then the thing is, immediately people start calling you and start asking you questions. But I remember just the other day, I called mother and I said, can I give this person your phone number so maybe you can talk to them? And they're asking me, you know, to be their mentor. And she said, you're ready. You're ready. This is on the job training. <laughs> While you're doing your, your, your uh, uh, studies, you have your practice, I'm right there. Dig in, dig in. And it's been a blessing with me and this, this sister, you know, in the Lord, who is a pastor uh, and also his ministries, you know, going around um, uh, back in, in Africa. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. That's how this more are coming. And all the students, you will hear them giving testimony and they will share. That is their practice. What they have, they have learned is what they will share, and you hear Amen. what God is doing to them. Thank you so Amen. much. Thank you so much, my daughter and my sister, my everything. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, I'm calling Dwin. Dwin, are you there? Give me a call. Call my cell phone because the other phones have been attacked. They can't go through. So just call me. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Hosea 6, uh, Hosea 4 verse 6, the Bible says, My people are destroyed, be, be destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou had rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that, that thou shalt be no priest to me. To me. Saying, seeing thou had forgotten the law of the Lord, I will also forget thy children. So the Bible says, my people, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That is what many people stop there. They don't say next. They don't say the next. Or every preachers they say that, but they don't say what. Why? Why should you be rejected? The Bible says in the book of. Uh, in the, in, the, in the same scripture, it says, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be, be no priest to meet to me. So, if you reject knowledge, the Lord also will reject you. 
The Lord also reject the priest, priest who reject, reject, priest who reject knowledge. The Lord will reject them. The Lord will reject them. The Lord will reject even their children. The Lord has no mercy when you reject his, his, when you reject when you reject the knowledge of God. Because how can you learn? How can you know if you don't have to follow God? So to, 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 to join the school, you will learn knowledge and things you don't know. So it is very important to everyone to join the school. We have a, a, a financial plan. Then you can you can pay little, 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 little. Then you finish. It, there is no in hurry. Don't don't worry about money. Just join, and then you can be blessed. Hallelujah! Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, you are so good. I thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory, God. You are so good, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you. I am waiting for doing. I don't know what's wrong with you, the doing. And uh, if it's not there, that's fine. Uh, Dave, can you call me? Can you call my cell phone? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. You are a wonderful, wonderful God. In the name of Jesus. I, I don't see, I don't see what you are writing there right now. Glorious God, we thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We thank you this morning, my God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Just a minute. Hallelujah. Glorious God, we love you. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Do not reject the knowledge. Do not reject the knowledge because if you reject the knowledge, God Himself will reject you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You are so wonderful, God. You are so good, God. Yes, my God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 God, we love you. God, we worship you. God, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, my God, we love you. Yes. The Bible says, That when you seek knowledge, God will not reject you. God will not reject you when you seek knowledge. But when you don't want to seek knowledge, you will be rejected by God. But God will not reject you. You see, uh, the Bible says in the book of Hosea, Hosea 4 verse 17, the same scripture. It says, Abraham is joined to idols, let him alone. Abraham, Abraham, Abraham is joined idols, let him alone. So the Lord will reject anybody who does not want to, 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 to learn, to get knowledge. So this man called Abraham, Abraham, he, he decided to go and worship idols. So the Lord said, let him alone. And if you look at the book of Isaiah 5, verse 9, the Bible says, Abraham shall be desolate in the day of rebuke among the tribe of Israel. Have I made known that which shall surely be? So Abraham was, Abraham was, was rejected and was left alone because God himself would reject anybody who refused to run, who refused to run the knowledge. In the Bible, in the book of First Samuel, First Samuel 6, First Samuel 16, First Samuel 16, the Bible says, hallelujah. Let's look at the book of First Samuel. First Samuel 16, God told, told, told Samuel, do not mourn about, about Saul. I have rejected Saul. I have rejected Saul. So God told, told Samuel, do not mourn over Saul because I have rejected him. Hallelujah. You shall not be rejected by God in the name of Jesus. Lord will not reject you by the, in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to reject you, 
Lord Almighty will have mercy on you because God can reject people when you don't want to obey the rules. God is God and he can reject anybody who doesn't want to follow the rules of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Samuel, Samuel, first Sam, Samuel 16, the Bible says, And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? So God can reject anybody who does not obey his word, who does not follow his instruction, who does not want to do the right thing. The Bible declare, clearly says that God will reject you, even your children, even priests. Here is the, the prophet that God somewhere anointed. Because uh, Saul so, so refused to obey God, refused to run from God, refused knowledge of God. So he was rejected. God rejected Saul from being a, 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 a king of Israel. So, and, and, and Samuel, he, he wanted, he, 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 God told him, go, I have chosen a king over Israel. Go and anoint that king. And then the king was chosen by God himself. And then the Bible says, when God chose the king, his father, his own father, who was, who, who was the father of David, he, he didn't want him to be a king because he had other sons who were more strong, beautiful education. And here is the little boy who was in the, in the, in the, in the field looking after the, 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 the cows. He was a shepherd. So his father said, no, forget about that boy. Let him stay there and die there. Let him take care of the, the cows. Let him, let him take care of the, the sheep. Be a shepherd there. But God rejected all his sons and he chose one person called David. David be became a king. He was anointed by Samuel. And Samuel is the same who anointed Saul. Therefore, if you refuse to, uh, to learn, the Bible says you will be destroyed. So you don't need to be destroyed. You don't need to be rejected. The Lord Almighty is here to help you. In the name of Jesus, my God, my Father, I want to thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's look in the book of, uh, of, 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 of Psalms 33, verse 11. The Bible says, The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart is uh, to all generation. Once he has decided on something, it is a settled, it is, it is settled matter. Each time I, I think of the, of the sovereign, servant of God, and his, his, and, his, and his words, his things, his deeds, I thank him and I say, God, you are God. According to your word, the Bible says, the counsel of the Lord stands forever, the thoughts of his hearts to all generation. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. God does not change. Once God, you follow God, God will appear and God will help you. The Bible says that in the book of Romans 9, verse 17, the Bible says, And you were told that God created Pharaoh for destruction. You were bound to be frightened. He was made to because, because become a great king so as to be drowned in the Red Sea for people to acknowledge the greatness of God. I thank God that he did not make me like Pharaoh. I thank God that he did not make me like Pharaoh. Pharaoh was made and was created, and he was a great king in Israel. But because he rejected God, because he didn't want to know about anything about God, and he, he was made, the Red Sea swallowed him. The Red Sea drowned him. That is how it is. When you reject the knowledge, anything can happen to you. Nothing safe. You cannot be safe. You cannot be safe because remember the Bible says that even the priest will be rejected, even children, their children will be rejected. God will reject. That's why you see many generations, many people are suffering from the curses of God, from God, God himself. And, and, and those, when, and when, you, when God himself is dealing with, the, with, with you, you better run to him. You better repent and run and seek his knowledge. Thank you, thank you for the people who have joined the class. They have discovered so much. 
like now we are dealing the others you can you can be shocked what we have run about the others how you must know how you are there's, there's different others so if you don't know this knowledge you you'll miss god has given us revelation god has made us teachers god has called us to help you so that you can be also a teacher you can help yourself you need to have this knowledge i'm telling you in the book in the book of job 20 job 21 Job, the book of Job 21, 29 to 30. You can read it. The Bible says you will always thank God for the salvation of your soul. God told Samuel to, to stop mourning. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God told, hallelujah, these things, it is it's terrible here. God told, Sam, God told Samuel to stop mourning over, over King Saul because he had already rejected him. First Samuel 16 verse 1, he told Samuel to fill his horn with oil and anoint one of the sons of Jesse as a king. When Samuel got to Bethlehem, he called Jesse and his sons to the, to, to the sacrifice. When Jesse started bringing out his sons, it was Arab that came out first. He, he, he was such a tall and a big man. That when Samuel saw him, he thought he was the chosen one. God told him that he has already rejected him. So he said, he, he, he said a man look, looks on, on, on his surface while God looks at the heart. So God does not look the appearance of a man. God looks the heart of a person. Now, when Samuel looked at, at, at Helen, the, the, the firstborn of Saul, of, of, of Jesse, he thought that this is the man because he was tall and handsome. But God does not look the outfit of the person. He looked at the heart of the person. Now, uh, David, uh, David must be, be, be a king to replace King Saul. Hennes, he said he had rejected Helen. I pray that God will never reject you. Another person rejected of God is Abraham. Abraham. Abraham was rejected by God because he refused to run the knowledge. Because he decided to leave God and go to worship idols. God rejected Saul because Saul became disobedient. And then he went to seek his help from the witchcraft. So God is here to help you and you will not be rejected in the name of Jesus. God will not reject you. It is not the portion of God to reject anyone. God loves us so much. God is a massive God. God is here to help you and deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will not reject you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the power, the power of God, the God of mercy, the God of love, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will not reject you. The Lord will reject anybody who refuses to obey his word, who refuses to, to serve him, who, who, who is worshipping the idols. Anytime you start worshipping the idols, you will be rejected. That's why you need to learn this school. You see the altars where they sacrifice, the altar where they sacrifice human beings, the altar of God where the, there is an altar of God, good and, and, and bad. There is an altar of God of negative and positive. So therefore, people of God, that, that, as the Bible says in Hosea 4 verse 6, my people are passing because of lack of knowledge. It is true. Many people, they are lacking of knowledge. This, this deliverance, I've said before that I nobody told me, nobody preached to me. I was in the college. I went to Bible study. I studied, and we didn't know this. We only we only thought that uh, salvation and healing, and Jesus has paid everything. We are delivered. So when we were told we are delivered, so there is nothing like deliverance. There is nothing like deliverance. Once you, you accept Jesus Christ as your personal self, you are delivered. Now you find, yes, we are delivered. I'm not refusing that. But you find some problem, biting, sickness, diseases. People are going through so, so hard time, very difficult time. So you wonder why is it that Jesus has delivered and still we are going through what we are going through. My sister, Dr. Juma, as, as, he, as he said that, uh, she was an ordained minister 
she had been in going to judge but problem was piling her on a uh, uh, piling piling until the time she started seeking she started seeking, seeking the computer checking searching and then she came up with my videos and then she called me when she called me she found and she was settled she thanked god and said thank you from that time she, she found me she her life has totally changed you heard her saying her family, her children, everything has changed. Now she's in the class and she's learning more. By the time she completes a six, six weeks class, she will be a full-time minister. And she's going to minister in Africa. She will be going to Africa. She will be going all over because I will be sending her for a mission, mission to go and preach what she has learned. She needs to help people. I need more people to train so that they can go all over the world to preach. I need to make missionary. I want to send missionary from here to go India, to go South, uh, South America, to go all over the world to preach. I want to help you to run to the, I want to help you to know this deliverance so that you can help others. You can help your family. You can help yourself in the name of Jesus. It is, Jesus said, I make disciples. You can also make your disciples. You can start um, your ministry and help other people. Jesus said, you go and make them disciples. So you, I can train you and you can also train, train, train like that. That is how it will go. If you, are, if you feel that God is calling you to, your, to the ministry, call me. If you, you don't know your, your calling, your gift, call me. I will help you to identify your gift. And you know everyone is a priest. Therefore, people of God, don't be dejected because you know, because of you don't want to run the knowledge and you will suffer so greatly. Therefore, I am recommending you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, seek knowledge. A doctor called me uh, from Belgium. He's a, a family doctor. He has been, she has been working for 15 years in a hospital. She's a, a doctor. But what she was going through, She's going through so hard, so difficult that she's, she's a doctor and she has seen people dying and she doesn't know this, 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 what is going on. And she wants to help people. So she, she has joined the class. And this doctor, she said that she will, God will use her. And, and that hospital, I told her that she, she should be careful because all the patients will be healed and nobody will be in the hospital. And, I, and she said, if that is the case, then I can open my own clinic, healing clinic. I told her, be ready. But that is what is going to happen. God is going to use you. You don't know what you have. You don't know what you have. God will use you. Because you remember, the Bible says, the workers, the laborers are plenty, but the workers are few. Therefore, become one of the laborers. God will use you. I am here to, it is very interesting because one on one. We talk in the class, like the way I, I'm talking to you. So it will be a, a, a blessing to you and your family. God bless you so much. Go to our website. See the place called prayer request. Request. Give me your address, your email. Request that course. I will send you the materials and we will start from there. So many people are right now. They are in their second class. They are on the, 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 the second time, uh, the, the second week, some second, third week. They are going on. And we thank God. Saturday, anytime you are time that you want to join this class. So I will hear, I'm here to help you. Remember, God loves you and God does not like people who doesn't seek the knowledge. He, he will reject. Look at what he did to, to, to Saul. He is the one who told Samuel to anoint Saul, and Saul became a prophet. You can be made a prophet. Some prophets were born, and God can make you a prophet. We can make, we can impart you, we can activate the gift of God to you. So God has given us power and authority to activate your gift so that you, be, you will become a prophetess, you will become a prophet and on your own. So God will help you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca and go to a place called prayer request. Request that course. I will, I will, I will come, I will, I will contact you immediately when you call. I know some people have requested them. So let me know what time you want to join the class I, so that I can help you. This is the number you can call. You, we have cell phone. I have three different numbers. 
you can call 905-487-7196. Also, that is our landline. And we have a cell phone. If you call out this number that's not working, then you have to check your phone. Our cell phone is 647-608-5207. This is our cell phone number. You see, when the, 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 the prayer line was attacked, the other line was on. It would help you because this, this is the demons. The demons, they, 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 they are always there to bring destruction, but they are defeated. They are not above the, the name of Jesus. They are not above God. They will come to bring destruction, but they are defeated. We will continue, whether the devil like it or not. Overcomers Deliverance Training School will continue, and it is going to help people all over the world. I have people from even from Africa. So God will help you in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. See you tomorrow in the afternoon. That will be 4 o'clock tomorrow. Join me tomorrow, but I will be doing a lot of prayers. I will come in uh, all the time to pray with people because God is calling me to pray. People are being tormented. People still need needs prayer. Yesterday, I joined sometimes in the evening and I found some people who were tears, was were tormented, were being attacked. They called me and said me, thank you. I immediately, when you look at the uh, Twitter, they, there was so much, a lot of people liked the, the prayers, the little prayer that I, I did about 10 minutes. And people were waiting like they were waiting for the prayer. When I look at the Facebook, I look at the, the places, the people have come so many and they like the prayers. So I will call only the prayers. I'm not teaching, I'm not doing anything. If you want to join me to pray, just prayer. Come, come, when you see me, come on and let's pray. I will be doing a lot of prayer so that God can help you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have any needs, 